Thanks for joining me for another Spoolheads Racing Build Journal video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about where you can find things to 3D print for your track, how to design your own custom track pieces to 3D print, what 3D printer I'd recommend, and finally, lay out my quest to find the best open track solution. To close the video, I'm going to open up some new cars and race them down the work in progress track. Start your engines and let's get rolling. When I first got into diecast racing, I was fortunate to already own a 3D printer. This opened up a lot of possibilities. Some of the first things that I printed were 3D Botmaker's MagTrack accessories. These can be found on a website called Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a website where you can download free 3D models for printing. For example, just type in Hot Wheels Track and you'll find a lot of things that are great for diecast racing. 3D Botmaker's MagTrack connectors, 180 degree bank turn, start gate, I found some Hot Wheels track clamps that were really great to play with. I found a barrel roll jump and tried to recreate the famous James Bond stunt. You can find Hot Wheels track connectors, several different types of turns, even a little Hot Wheels crisscross. One thing that would be really helpful for all of you that are using Crash Racer sets is this guide made by Tom Spanners Watson from Chaos Canyon. It helps hold the track in place, preventing unwanted bumps from cars riding the sidewall of the track. I'll put a link in the description of this video. In my last build journal video, I showed that I was printing some 45 degree turns that I found on Thingiverse. Once I got the turns printed, I decided I didn't quite like the spacing between the tracks. The Hot Wheels track spacers that I made keep the track pretty close together. And when I connected the Hot Wheels track to the turn, it kind of pulls the track away from each other. At this point, the only software that I used to modify files for 3D printing was Tinkercad. Tinkercad's a free software aimed at beginners. While I can do a lot in it, fixing a dual lane turn easily was beyond its capability. So to design my own dual lane 45 degree turn, I turned to Fusion 360. Even though Fusion 360 is a professional software, they have a free non-commercial license that you can use. Basic idea of how to make a track in Fusion 360 is this. You select a plane and you draw a sketch on it. For example here, I brought in a reference image that shows the dimension of a Hot Wheels track. I'm just going to make a sketch on that plane and copy the outline of the reference image. Next, I'll create a sketch on a plane perpendicular to the original sketch. And just make a random sweeping path across this. It's nothing beautiful. All right, now I'm going to use something called the sweep command to be able to extrude that out. Look how easy that was. It's not a thing of beauty, but it's there. Now it did take me a while to learn Fusion 360 well enough to be able to design my own track, but now that I've got the basics down, I've got a lot of possibilities open to me. If you'd be interested in seeing a longer tutorial of Fusion 360 and how to design your own track, please let me know in the comments below. Once I got my dual lane 45 degree turn how I wanted it, it was really easy to take that profile and turn it into lots of other track pieces. So far using this profile, I've designed dual lane straight track, 45 degree turns, the W or a butterfly turn, which is a 180 degree turn that has equal distance traveled for both lanes and also includes an elevation drop. I've even printed a little dual lane drop that I'm still working on. All of these pieces are still compatible with Hot Wheels track, so it gives me a lot of flexibility in case I want to mix and match in the future. My 3D printer is a Creality CR10 Mini. It allows me to print track pieces up to about 10 inches. Dual lane 10 inch track pieces use about 85 grams of filament. That cost me about $1.75 US. It takes about five to six hours to print one track piece, but my print bed's big enough that I can print two track pieces at the same time, which allows me to get through about 40 inches of track a day. It's a slow process, but I have the time to do it, and I certainly like the results. One of the most popular budget 3D printers is the Creality Ender 3. It costs about $200 US. The print bed is just big enough to be able to print the 45 degree dual lane turn, but it can only print straight track pieces up to about seven and a half inches. If you haven't bought a 3D printer and you're interested in one, I'd recommend the Creality Ender 3 Max. It's got a much bigger build plate than the Ender 3 and even my CR10 Mini. And selling for about $300 US, it's really not that much more expensive. One of the main differences between using 3D printed track and other track is that the 3D printed track isn't flexible. 
This makes track building a little bit more challenging, but it also allows for a much more consistent, smooth ride all the way down the track. Now I want to talk a little bit about open track. I want to find the best affordable open track solution out there. Right now, the Adventure Force Crash Racers NASCAR set is by far the favorite, and it's been proven to have some really great racing. The most affordable place to find this Crash Racers is at Walmart. It sells for about $30 US and it has two turns that are just over 180 degrees each. It also has a crisscross and four 20 inch straight open track pieces. Maybe the best part about the Crash Racer set is that it's got grooves on the track, which helps the cars to go straight and prevent spinning. Every other open track that I've seen so far has really had a hard time keeping the cars going straight, especially coming out of turns. Just look at 3D Botmaker's YouTube channel and compare some of the early races that he raced on Coroplast to the later races where he's using the Crash Racer sets. There's a noticeable increase of quality in the racing. I don't really like how hard it is to keep the track flat. This kind of bow in the track, if not corrected, can lead to some kind of strange racing. Probably the biggest disadvantage of the Crash Racer set is that you can't buy the straight pieces individually. You have to buy them in a set with the cars and with the turns and the crisscross and the little cones that come with it. That means you end up paying about $8 for every 20 inch piece of straight track. I really think that there's got to be a more affordable solution out there that offers racing just as good as the Crash Racers but at a much more affordable price. In an effort to design some better options, I've designed and printed some open track pieces, but I'm not quite satisfied with where that's at yet. Coroplast is another good option for open track racing, but it's slick enough that it doesn't offer the same control that the Crash Racer set offers. One thing that I've tried to give Coroplast better racing is to 3D print inlays that lay in and have grooves in it. The problem I'm facing with that is the unwanted bumps switching from one inlay to the next. I'm still playing around with that, but I haven't quite found the solution for that yet but I'm still on my quest to find the most affordable option that still offers really good open track racing. If you have any suggestions of things I should try, please let me know in the comments below. Got a special update. I was online looking at Crash Racer set at Walmart and they were on sale. Normally they're $30 and I found them for just over 15, so I picked up a few. This will allow me to get the track finished as I explore other options to add in different components. All right, it's time to see a little racing on the work in progress track. Here's the cars we're gonna try out today. There's a variety of sizes to make sure they can all make it through the top section right here. And we're only gonna do the Lancer Evolution from the Fast and the Furious, but they're all new, so no bent axles. So we, they all got a clean shot about making it down. All right, we got the little one opening the Subarus. I didn't know that these were so hard to open. There we go. The 12 year old helps out. Who do you think is going to win? I'll say the Lancer. No, I'm going to say Triceratruck. We've had some good Triceratruck truck races. All right, let's go. It starts right here with the custom start gate. I'm still working on the, that design. Um, we've got a turn right here. It'll go across the bridge, then into the W turn, and then come down through a tunnel. And then right now I've got a little drop, and I've got it. That's where I'm at. So far. All right, we got the two Subarus right here. On your marks, get set, go. All right, change lanes and go. All oh, that dark Subaru is fast. All right, we've got two little tiny ones. So let's go ahead and open up the Magna Tuner. No, Maga Turn. Maga. Magna tuner. Maga tuner. It's Magna tuner. Mag There's an N right there. Manga. <laughs> Manga tuner. Manga tuner. Manga tuner. I don't know what it is. Okay, then we've got a little Subaru truck. Oh, this guy's so Oh my goodness, cute. that's like the cutest little Duh! truck. Not bad. <laughs> He's so I can't, I can't. cute. That's All right, let's see if you can make it on the track. Tuner. On your marks, good set, go. Subaru. All right, we switch lanes. Let's see if this uh, little Subaru truck can make it through this turn. Okay, and go. Oh, he, he, I think he's bouncing around too much. Let's do a slow motion and find out. My 
kids tend we have to play sad music, but he really took a dive. It was a long drop. In comparison, size-wise, that is just a really tiny car, and it uh, it did not do well on the. It on had the track. too much clearance. The five-year-old says it has too much clearance. He's just too small for the track. All right, next we've got this uh, Chevy truck and some Metro bus. Ain't fair. All right, go ahead and open those. Look how shiny that is. Whoa, he barely fits. Go. No. Well, it's okay. No one won. And the truck is actually, I think he's, yeah, he is just too wide. His wheelbase is in comparison right there. That's, that's a pretty wide truck. All right, so the truck's out. And go. On the second attempt, he made it. Let's try the other lane. Go. <laughs> he almost rolled it. That is one awful bus. All right, next we have the Tricera truck and the Lancer Evolution. Okay, go and pull those out. <laughs> go. Yeah, that guy's fast. With the W turn, the result should be really even. So he should the Tricera truck should win again by that much. Let's see how it goes. On your marks, set, go. All right, he didn't win by that much, but let's, just for fun, Tricera truck is the winner. Let's switch him again and just see if it wins by that, that much. And ready, go. There's a more even race. I wonder if the, oh yeah, that's great. They both. All right, because this guy was really awful, I'm just gonna say he lost and uh, we'll have a little race off between these two to be in the in the final tournament. Go. <laughs> oh. On your marks, set, go. Here's the final four of this little showdown. We're gonna go these two guys first. And go. All right, change lanes and. All right, we've got the Lancer and the Subaru. On your marks, to set, go. All right, on your marks, set, go. All right, one to one. On your marks, set, go. So the rematch between the Lancer and the Tricera truck. On your marks, set, go. And the Lancer won that one. Is the Tricera truck gonna go down today? All right, let's see, let's get restarted. All right, we've traded lanes. If the Lancer wins, it's all over. On your marks, set, go. He's got a lead. Oh, no. Nope. Tricera truck pulls it out. Let's switch lanes again. On your marks, set, go. Oh, that was a close one, but the Lancer comes out. All right, we're gonna put up the Lancer. Evolution versus, where's that fast one? This Corvette happens to be the fastest car that we have so on this track. And your marks, good set, go. Corvette still undefeated, all right. Yeah. Thanks for watching this Build Journal video today. I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button and race on, friends.